morning. Fox 61's Keith McGilvery is out and about checking out another spot that showed up on a lot of people's CT summer bucket list. Yeah, it's a gorgeous spot. We got a couple suggestions to check out this spot. Dawn told us Lavender Pond Farm is a lovely place to visit. Yeah, Magdalena told us on Instagram that she checked this spot right off of her list and she's now in love with Lavender Pond Farms. So we sent Keith out there to check out the farm for himself and then share it with all of us. Keith, how's it looking? <laughs> Tim and Erica, you have got to come check this place out. It is just beautiful here at Lavender Pond Farm. And Denise, my friend here, we're affectionately calling you the Lavender Lady because you run the show, and what a show it is. You know, uh, people have been reaching out to us all summer saying, check this place out, check it out, it's so great. People are already trickling in this morning as kids and families show up. What's here for them to experience? So there are a lot of different things here to do at Lavender Pond Farm. Um, as you showed earlier, we have our new train this year and it's all electric so it fits in with the feel of the farm and and doesn't leave a big footprint um, we also have a giant chess set that people are playing every day which is awesome it is huge and you said inspired by your own kids yes yes whenever we traveled anywhere and there was a chess set they'd always find it and they'd spend hours there playing so our younger son was in charge of putting it all together and it's turned out great i think a lot of people really just enjoy spending time there and we know i was learning this morning on a busy weekend you could see five thousand people walk through the gates here how did you know lavender was going to be a hit you know, I really wasn't sure that it was going to be a hit. I knew that I loved it, and I knew that it had the right feel for us um, of peacefulness and, and serenity, and I knew we could do a lot with it. So it is so cool here. They have all kinds of lavender influence products and all kinds of different price points. I wanted you to share some of them with me. This is great. Lavender lemonade? Yes. So that is our recipe, our lavender lemonade. And when we first opened, I would make it, you know, a couple gallons at a time and we'd have it under a tent. Um, and last year we worked with a bottling manufacturer and we scaled our recipe up to make 400 gallons at a time so now we give them all the ingredients they make it for us and bottle it and it's great and there's you have dolls and plants yeah. what's going on over here so we've got um all the different things that we make in the shop and this is our hope doll um she you know was inspired by a lot of different tragedies that have been happening in the world and um, we thought everybody could just use a little hope and she's full of our lavender that we grow here and we sell plants and dried bundles and all different kinds of things soaps and lotions and sachets and pillows and you name it anything lavender Denise it has been so fun I've also been so impressed by all the young people in the community that are working here for the summer it's a really family friendly fun atmosphere we so appreciate your time you can pick up a lavender plant for about 14 bucks or so. You want to give this a shot uh, on your own at home. Clearly, I wouldn't be able to pull off anything of this scale, but it might be worth a try. I appreciate your time. Thank you. All Thanks right. For coming. Yeah, we had a great time. We are live at Lavender Pond Farm this morning. Keith McGilvery, Fox 61 News. Tim and Erica, cheers to you. Cheers to you too, Sounds Keith. Good. Yeah. yeah it looks so picturesque, <laughs> like perfect. Yeah. I, I like them a little, almost like the little trams you see in the in the uh, drone video we have. Just right. sit, sip on some wine, go for a ride. I'm all right with that. It's very relaxing and peaceful. <laughs>